Yummy Biters. Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all, today we are having a homemade catfish fry, y'all, with fried green tomatoes. We have um, one piece of fish with the bone in and one that's filleted. We have fries and yeah, I don't have no bread. And yeah, y'all, mm-hmm. Y'all, look at this water. And I got more water today. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. You want to give me some? Hey, you want no bread? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want two pieces, please. Hey, you give me some bread. You I know. Some. I don't know. Oh, and give me the lime. I mean the lemon. There's a lemon over there. There's a half a lemon right over there. We need to take a thumbnail. Just pull from the art manager. No, I don't like to do that because then I might not get a good one. Now I'm gonna be mad. I came over yesterday. You can't deny. I bet you didn't even use either one of them, huh? Yeah, yes I did. Just so shut your mouth. <laughs> okay, all right. What's going on? Thank you, show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, let's go ahead and pray. Oh, God is great. God is good. Let's thank you for the food. Let's pray the food be blessed. And man, let's pray for the world because they sure need it. Amen. Amen. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. You see this fish lay right here? Who? Give me the uh, ketchup, please. <laughs> my ponytail. <laughs> Your ponytail on right. Come on, let's take a thumbnail real quick. Well, I'll take my phone there like this. Oh, like no. what? Then what, what? These are lame. We got to stop you, doing these kind of thumbnails. Well, look. What thumbnail are we going to dip? Because on, we can't eat up all the food. Yummy. Okay, I want to taste these, um, these uh, fried green tomatoes. It's my first time making them, y'all. I'm just going to dip it in some ranch. Who wants a yummy bite? Delicious. Mm. 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 That's flavor to it. That's perfect. Mm. Yeah, I cooked everything. <laughs> That's I'm perfect tired. fish. Is it perfect? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I'm gonna put some lemon on mine. That's good as hell with the fried fish. What? The tomato? Mm-hmm. Donka, donka, donka. All right. Who's ready? Mm -mm. I want some hot sauce. Is it hot? Or is it just me? Is it? Okay. Mmm. <laughs> That's it, right? Mmm. <laughs> Look at that, yum. No thumbnail. It's so crispy. Mmm. Mmm. You know, I put a post on my Instagram, right? That McDonald's clip from the McDonald's video. 
with the Travis Scott meal. Why is everybody in my comments talking about McDonald's uses human meat in their burgers? Allegedly. Yeah. Do y'all know where that comes from? I actually looked it up. And it's just a rumor. It was a rumor. They did inspections and everything um, over that. Do you remember that? Mm-mm. At least that's what they said. So, I don't know. That just doesn't make sense to me. Why so, there were inspections done at McDonald's to see if they were using human meat? Mm-hmm. Supposedly. Maybe it's certain ones. Yeah, but I'm like, they did to all of them? I know it's going to take all of them. Here we go. False claim of human meat in McDonald's factory stems from old hoax. Of course they're going to have debunk. You know, it, may, it could be some truth to that. Because, you know, it, it goes to, you know, to the, to the, uh, the elite who run the world. You know what I'm saying? They sick, they sacrifice kids, you know, and then supposedly part of their witchcraft. Was to then feed those sacrificed kids after they've done it. That's what I heard. To back to the public. It's just part of their witchcraft, you know what I'm saying? Well, but remember what they were saying first. I remember the story said first it was horse meat. I remember that when I was a kid. They said that McDonald's had horse meat. <laughs> then um, they said that, um, that there was pink slime in the meat and now that it's human meat. Like, I wonder what they're going to say next. I don't know. I just don't believe it. It's like a, a McDonald's just under attack, huh? Mm-hmm. Aren't they like the number one fast food in the world? Big and so. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Happy Sunday, y'all. Saturday for us. It's been a pretty quiet Saturday. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? Mm. Just the what a hell of a dinner conversation. <laughs> what? <laughs> what we was just talking about. Oh. <laughs> I just want to know what y'all think about bon that. Bon appetit. Like, have y'all heard about that? <laughs> I want to know. Oh, you can't talk about anything over dinner? I mean. It's probably going to discuss no, something. Can. I can sit there and, you know, you can talk to me about that, but. I know. I bet you somebody's grossed out. What's oh sorry, my god! I mean, it's not like we're eating McDonald's. Sorry, y'all. Mm. Y'all already know I got my cucumbers. I gotta throw some greens in there some kind of way. Oh yeah, I did a video on this braided ponytail, so make sure y'all check out my natural hair obsession channel. Mm. Why are we so hungry? I'm so I'm like why I'm t I ain't never ate this fast in this like I I can't eat this fish fast anymore. It's because it's good. <laughs> you know what? I am hungry. You know what? I didn't eat late last night like I usually do. Oh, you didn't eat? Well, when did you eat? Yeah, yeah, I was asleep. He... The last uh, time I ate was the mug man, then I went live. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think I might have ate. I don't know. Not nothing major. I'm sure I had a snack mm. or something, but... I said to myself, it's gonna be healthier if I don't eat and then go to sleep 
and I'm gonna have more of an appetite for the bang. Mm -hmm. Come here, fish. I think that's healthy, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Eat once a day, give your, your body plenty of time to digest it. They say it's not healthy to eat once a day. Who say that? They. <laughs> <laughs> Them. <laughs> Gotta eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and breakfast is the oh, most no. important. Oh, no, you can't listen to them. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. It's because I'm not that hungry. I think it's because I cooked. Because usually that's how it goes. Like, you cook. Yep. Because I was hungry earlier. Oh my God, that water. Mmm. Ooh. Oh, y'all. I want to send out prayers to Amy, y'all. She's one of our yummy biters. Um, she's in California, and they having all of those fires. And, um, yeah, y'all, just burning down people's whole freaking neighborhoods. Just, Lord have mercy. So, y'all keep everybody in California. Where else are they having um, fires? Oregon. Oregon. I and wherever else, else they having fires. Excuse me. It is out of control. That's crazy, man. Fires, like Whole in places. Whole neighborhoods getting burnt down. Yeah, in places that they haven't had fires. I haven't heard of Oregon having wildfires. Have you? I haven't. Excuse me. I haven't. I mean, what else is supposed to be next? Like Earthquakes. the floods. Earthquakes are already happening, I thought. I'm talking about the big one. You know what I'm saying? The big earthquakes like the San Andreas fault, the um the one that's down in uh down south, you know. Big shaking. Has any uh um volcanoes been erupting? Yeah, that too. Anything big? Yeah, a bunch of volcanoes been going on. Mm -hmm. I'm not about the ones that they predicted is gonna be so big and... Oh we, yeah, super volcano go off then we're plucked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh what? The whole world gonna suffer. Oh, what? That's going to change the face of the earth right now. In a major way. It'll blot out the sun for years. For years? Mm-mm-mm. You know, Revelation talk about New Babylon. How it's going to be burning, you know what I'm saying? It's funny. How in America, you know what I'm saying? You got all these forests on fire right now. Mm -hmm. uh, the streets on fire with all this, um, you know, protest oh, yeah. and rioting. Mm -hmm. Getting started. It so is. Oh my God. Do you know that it's so many people killing their kids? Like, yeah. I can't. I, that's just. I see it on. <laughs> it's on my feed all day long. People in Houston, like. People are just willy-nilly just killing their kids. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't understand that part. You think it has something to do with the um, quarantine? Mm. I hope not. I know, huh? Because quarantine is not that serious. Oh, really? <laughs> Ain't that much back talk and disrespect in the world. I know, huh? They killing the babies though, like the two and three year olds and the like, you know. Mm -mm -mm. I can never understand that. Mm. Oh my God, I forgot the baby's name. I saw it on my feet today. They were looking for him. I think he was three years old. They've been looking for him for, um, I think a couple of days, maybe a week. And why they found him in the pool, stuffed in a, um, in the, what do you call those tubes? The drain? Is that what that is? The big tubes in the pool. What are those called? Well, I don't know what tubes you're talking about. Anyway, they found him stuffed in one. At his, at his house? 
No, it was at, I think it's a, a public pool. What? Yeah, very, very strange, very weird. That's where they found him though. Wow. Mm -hmm. Some evil people out here in this world. So sad. Trying to walk right by him in Walmart and never know. They out here, you know what really? I'm saying? Waiting to snatch a kid yep. and do something terrible to yep. him. And like, maybe snatch him in broad daylight, y'all. Broad daylight. They will snatch they will snatch your child from you. They tried to do that, I think to the Spanish lady. They will snatch your kids from out of your arms. Like Oh my god. I'm glad I don't have no little bitty kids no more. Kids play outside. The uh the neighbors. One day I don't know if I'm telling you. I was closing Jaden Curtin, I look outside, and they were all in the street playing. It car pull up, it had to stop to not run over them because they all in the street. Yeah, they always been in the street. Yeah, nobody outside. Cause I, look, I went and looked. Mm -hmm. Nobody outside. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Them little bitty kids. Yeah. They were like three and five they was out there by themselves. It's somebody around the corner that be having their kids out, these little Spanish kids. <clears throat> Why is one of those electric um what do you call those little you know those little cars in the middle of the street with nobody watching them? Nobody. Yeah. I don't know what they think they're at. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jokers be coming through here like a bat out of hell sometimes. People ain't always paying attention. Mm -mm. Watch your kids. Easy to get snatched. We was talking about snatching. That's just easy prime for snatching. You know, like if I was a snatcher, I was part of the snatcher connection, I may say, man. I got a couple of my kids out here unsupervised. Can we get a truck down here? What? What? <laughs> what? They would have been up out of here. You just if your kids don't get snatched, you just lucky that a snatcher or a snatcher network didn't see them. You know, people mm. get money for these kids. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I was gonna say something. Oh, did you hear about that girl? Did you see that footage of that young girl in Atlanta? Um well, her parents were like embarrassing her over the internet. Um, her stepmama was hitting her, and um, they were just telling her that she, you know she stole her grandmother's phone, or stole somebody phone, her aunt phone, stole somebody phone. She was just being bad, and her parents were recording her, you know, trying to I guess teach her a lesson or whatever. But anyway, it went viral, and, and come happened? to find out, um, what's his name, Mama, the rapper. His mama worked with everybody. Waka Flocka? Yeah, no, no. What's his mama name? Debbie or something? Yes, yeah, Anthony, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, come to find out, she knows the girl. I don't know how she knows her, but she does, and now I guess she's with her now, um, because she was taken away. People were saying that she was taken away um, by CPS, and then that's when Deb got her. The girl that got taken away? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The girl that was getting clowned for Exactly. Mm-hmm. What was they doing? How was they clowned? And clowning? all kinds of stuff. They had her in the garage, sitting in a chair, like it was a, um, you know, just in the middle of the garage. The exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. I couldn't believe it, though. Oh, oh, that's so bad? She was getting interrogated for stealing the phone? No. Um, no. You should see how they were doing her. What they was doing? It was terrible. Like... It was like the daddy was letting the stepmama do whatever she wanted, talk to her any old kind of way. Just she was hitting her and stuff. Like I, mm -mm, I didn't agree with none of that. None of it. Mm -mm. Stepmama hadn't even been there long enough to even raise the girl. You don't put your hands on no freaking body. Telling they were telling the girl. Um, that um, her mama ain't nothing. And they were like, how, how, when's the last time you talked to your mama? It was so mean, oh my God. Yeah, and she was I like, remember. in a year. See, see, your mama ain't nothing, she ain't, yeah. I couldn't believe it. Sweet little girl too. She and probably what? did do a whole lot of bad stuff. She probably did, you know what I'm saying? But. They put this on the internet? Exactly, that's the thing, like, what did y'all do? Like I said, come and sit in here. We, gonna, we about to go get the phone. Well, so they was live streaming on Facebook? I bet you I was live so. streaming on yeah. Facebook. Mm -hmm. It was either that or Instagram. One of the mother two. Like, I know y'all done seen that. Because everybody making videos about it. Like, it is, just, it is viral. And 
They gonna do some time for what they did on the internet. It was that bad? Yes. They was dragging her all on the cement and stuff. Mm. Yeah. What the hell? Her daddy was sitting on her chest. What? She was saying that he was hurting her, you know, and he wouldn't even move. So do we know it did she even steal the phone or not? Like we don't know. She did. Oh, she did, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and supposedly she touched one of her um stepsisters. Her little stepsister. She Okay. she's in court and stuff for it now. Oh man. Allegedly. Okay. But people are saying that they think that she had to have gone through something. She ain't nothing but I think she's fourteen or fifteen years old. Something had to have happened. If she did, in fact, do that to her little sister, something happened in her life. Because kids just don't go doing that type of stuff, in my opinion. I bet it's something I can do. I'm At that saying. young of an age? Well, I mean, it's possible. I am full. <laughs> They were like, <laughs> her dad was asking her, you call my wife a fat, a fat A-B on the internet? <laughs> and she said, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't think she likes her stepmom. They stupid for putting that on the internet. Very dumb. And he was saying his government name, daring people to go, and they was just tagging CPS and the police department. Yeah. Yeah. So they was he didn't lying. Care. He said he'd do they, time. They for was it. lying, and the people in the chat was. T t I do he believe was, so. He was interacting with the chat. Exactly. Lord, he had got back online after the, after it happened, mm -hmm. and he was with her. He was with his daughter. They was both in the um, in the car. But um, yeah, so he could, I guess, explain himself. He was saying he's just trying to protect his daughter. What do y'all think? Do y'all think he was trying to protect her or just embarrass the mess out of her? I'm pretty sure her dad's intentions were um, to try to teach her something, some type of lesson, I guess. But he just did it in the wrong way. Yeah, I've heard people doing things, you know what I'm saying, to embarrass a kid, you know what I'm saying? I don't understand Opening that the internet window stuff. Why they getting beat? You know what I'm saying? That <laughs> You know, so everybody can see. <laughs> That's wrong. Open the windows. Hey, but you know, sometimes what you did, you know, embarrassment is is a good teacher. Sometimes kids don't want to be embarrassed. I don't think not in these days. Maybe back in the day when we was growing up, but not these days. The internet. That's the whole world. That is the whole world, and it follows you. It doesn't get erased. So you should never do that to your kids on the internet. I don't think. Yeah, that was a stupid idea. But I'm just trying to, you know. Not purposely do it. I like, can always explain even the biggest idiots why they do what they do. I don't mean it's right. Yeah, they was. I mean, everybody know they was trying to teach her a lesson, but that like really. I just feel like people should know better than that. Don't chastise your kids online. The police gonna come get you. And, yeah, I don't care what you did. The police gonna come get you. Are you really that sheltered from the world where you don't have a clue that you can't do this type of stuff? I know, it's just so you weird. You know what I'm saying? This ain't 1975, 85. You know, when you used to get drugged and beat. And you know what I'm saying? You go to school and, <laughs> and y'all- And it'd be okay. Yeah, y'all compare, you know compare it, whelps and exactly. shit. Exactly, you know I mean? like, I just got a whooping yeah. Ooh, this morning. <laughs> My partner in the second grade, he came to uh, school. He had got whipped so bad he couldn't even sit down. You know how you had to sit down yes. in the hallway? Yes, yes. He couldn't even sit down in the hallway before. <laughs> Oh, Honey, cool. I've had plenty of them times. Plenty, of them. and that used to be the norm. Isn't that weird? How that was the norm, and yeah. now, oh my God! But I guess you know what I'm saying. That they needed to be stopped because that's not good to teach a child by beating them. No, you know, like we learned that from slavery. And that's not good to pass that on. Yeah. 
But uh, so you need how are you supposed to be? How are you supposed and to? You got to control their mind. The way to really control somebody is to control their mind, not they on, you know, not their hands and hold them with their arms and try to put a, a rope on them and you know physically handle them. You got to handle mm. them in their mind. Hmm. You, know, you teach them. You you show them right from wrong. You you know what I'm saying? You teach you teach them by giving leading the example. Uh, you and explaining do. why you tell them that they can or can't do something or whatever, you know, and not just because I said so. That way they learn. Hmm. <laughs> but, you know. We never got explanations, really. Like, <laughs> no is no, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Like, we didn't mm -hmm. even ask questions. Like, did y'all ask questions to y'all's parents? Cause I did. I, that was my I have a feeling that you why. did. Yeah, I just I always had to know why. I what hate, did your mama tell I you? Because I said so. Exactly. Like everybody else, mama. But so why I wasn't would you even ask? So I wasn't able to learn why. I was just being led, right? So mm -hmm. I wanted to know why so that I could understand. That way I wouldn't have to be led. It would, you know, like I'm a reasonable guy. I always been, ever since a kid. So that's how I you know, think you should raise kids. Teach them why. I'm just tell them because I said so. And then you just blindly lead them and they're not learning anything. Yeah, you're probably leading them right, but they're not learning it. Do you always have a reason why you say no? Uh, of course. Because the law of the land is treat everybody how you want to be treated. So if somebody wants something, unless there's a valid reason why it shouldn't be, then I would let that happen because I would want it to happen for me if that's what was my wishes. But that's just how uh, uh, mm. a good ruler would rule. I wish I had a whole planet to govern. Oh it would be a beautiful place. I swear to God. Mm -mm. Govern. Are you serious you right now? He is so. <laughs> you would probably thrive doing that too. <laughs> Bet you would. That would be nice. Mm. Oh, I'm full. Cucumber lady. I mean, you just had to throw a cucumber. It's just a naked That's cucumber so on your plate, huh? That's right. It's healthy. Anyway, y'all let us know y'all's opinions. I really want to know how y'all feel about that. Man, and God this bless is what I heard. <clears throat> if you did want to spank your, your kids, that... You have to spank them on the butt, and that's it. Nowhere else, just on the butt. That's it. So, yeah. So to me, that that's, that's almost as far as it should go. Like when they very little, and you try to, you mm -hmm. know, maybe a little baby, they trying to touch the stove and it's hot. You might have to pop them or something. But yeah, you know, it don't need to like carry on to the point to when they big. Now yeah. you can't just pop them on their butt or their hand. Now is a Physical fight. Now you just right. swinging the belt. You exactly. hitting everywhere you can hit because they, do, you know, that's yeah, when it's that's when running. They, that's when they go too far. Now you you beating a human exactly. being with a, with a lash. Mm -hmm. Then come on, bro. A lash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> can we can't be doing that. I remember I ran away from my daddy and ran up under the bed. Oh my god. Yeah, belt came Why and got you up under the bed. Huh? Yes. Okay, and he made me get up from under there. <laughs> I got it worse. Oh my, I'll never forget that one. <clears throat> but kids turned out better though, you gotta admit. You know, look at the We were some today. good daggone kids. <laughs> we were some good kids when we were um growing up. I guess most human beings gotta have a fear of something to act right. Either the fear of God yeah. or the fear of your daddy. Yes, exactly. If you don't have that no fear, fear of your daddy is something else. <laughs> like for, we had a true fear. <laughs> um, my, not like that. We we feared getting a whooping, so we didn't want to do nothing wrong. To you know what I'm saying? To get that whooping, we were very cautious. You know what I'm saying? So that made us good kids. <laughs> yeah, that's that could ruin your dad on me week, like a whole week. I be longer than that. A whole week. Yeah, because right. you gotta heal from the dad on me. Uh, It'll take a week for you to heal from the whipping sometimes. Yeah, sometimes longer than that because I bruise easily. So. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. What about the pain? Uh, bruises last a long time, but would it be like painful? How long would it be painful? I 
don't, I don't remember. <clears throat> I just know I used to have to go to school with webs on my legs and wear them little bitty um, PE shorts. Other people used to get it worse than me. I didn't get it. I didn't get it that bad. I, I used to see it don't other seem people. like you did. Yeah, I used to see other people like, wow. Because who was whipping you? Your mama? Yeah. See, my mama didn't whoop us. She didn't do that at all. Like, that wasn't her job. <laughs> her job was to give us hugs and love and all of that. <laughs> my daddy, he was a disciplinary. Okay? There was only one in the house. So... And that was, it was like that in your house too. It was only one disciplinary, right? Yeah. Unless I've done something real bad, then you know. Then mm -hmm. I can't see your daddy disciplining you. That's when you gotta get you. your daddy with you. I can't. Yeah, it can was good. see your daddy that, that's, nobody that's, a that's the most horrible job, having to come home from work, a yeah. hard day at work, and being told, mm -hmm. your child did this, you need to beat him. Like. You need to get him a weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I've come home from work, you know, when the kids was little, and you. That's a. That's, no man wants to have to do that to right, his kids. Right, exactly. You, know, you do it out of love, but man, that is not a good job. I know, like, and then... Especially when it gets handed to you like an order. Here, yeah. Your child did this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting on you to come home with the lashing. Here you go. You gotta wait. That is the worst. When you have to wait for it. Oh, my God. <laughs> so you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, my goodness. I'm sure I had to wait on it once or twice before. I'm sure, you know. Wait till I get home. Yeah, when your and daddy you get have home. To oh wait my God, really? All that time, <laughs> you padding everything. <laughs> did you do I did that, that one time. I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I got away with it too. Trying to hide the belt. <laughs> he ain't gonna be able to find this belt. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, let's go. What happened with you, when y'all hit the belt where he, he got a big, he got a hard Yes, line. yeah, I told y'all that story. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, we hit that belt. I think we hit it under the uh, couch cushions. I don't know how ain't nobody find that because somebody was all up in there, always in there trying to find um, money and stuff, you know. But um, we hit it, and then he went and got the harder one, and we had no clue that he had that one. <clears throat> you know that hard leather, not that good soft leather, that hard leather, yeah, like that Wrangler. He didn't use that one. He spared y'all. He was using the one that wasn't, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Woo. Get y'all with that good church belt that never get used. Ooh, that wasn't even, that ain't had nothing to do with church, okay? <laughs> that be them hard belts because they only get used on Sunday. Oh, my God. <laughs> so they be like brand new. They be stiff. Anyway, <laughs> who gave you the worst weapons, your mama or your daddy? Y'all remember? It wasn't even. I don't know. Probably the daddy would probably was a little bit harder. I don't really remember. I was just thinking about one time my uh, mama told me she had said something smart to my grandmother. And uh, because you know, the God. further back you go in time, the more brutal it gets. Oh my God. <laughs> She had said something smart under her breath, and my grandmother picked up that. She had a glass ashtray. Oh, she, she picked told it up me and about threw that. Threw it and shattered at her feet. <laughs> Yo, what? I do not. I swear to God, I don't understand people that get freaking out of line with their parents. I just, <laughs> I don't yeah. get it. The land of uh, I brought you in, and I'll take you. Yes. Inside. Like, how dare you? You're gonna scream and ain't nobody gonna come for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. I wouldn't have never played with her like that. Nah. God bless Marvin Gaye and his daddy. You know, that's what had to say Marvin Gaye. I know. I know. And then he, did he even get in trouble for it? Like, he got in a little trouble, but. I don't even know, man, but I'm sad to this day that we yeah. had to lose Marvin, man. <clears throat> you know he was an Aries. Oh, he was. Just fun fact. You know what I'm saying? Long live Marvin Gaye. That boy was a genius. And he was trying to. And he made he some was, good He music. was trying to do things his way, and his daddy said no. You know how Aries are. Yeah. <laughs> they like to do things their way. I think he had hit him or something. He had, he had Did hit, he hit him? He had hit him before, and he told him, "If you ever hit me, you ever put your hand on me again." And he did it. Oh my God. So he got self defense then, huh? Maybe, might have. 
I don't know. Mm. And if you older, you know what I'm saying? My son hit me, I was afraid. <laughs> the disrespect, you know, your grown ass son gonna hit you, the man who brought you in the world and really? raised you and sacrificed, that is, and, that, and then you're gonna, wow. That is crazy. That is, I couldn't even see myself doing that. Like, how dare me? Like, <sighs> anyway. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoy this video. These these are making what? me upset. I keep mm -hmm. looking at it and it look like a cookie. Like my mind <laughs> keeps thinking cookie when I see it, and I get this like little burst of like happiness, like oh a cookie, <laughs> and then I realize no, it's a fried tomato, and it keeps happening over and over again. It looks like a sugar cookie, yeah, or yeah, a peanut butter. Yeah, cookie. it looks like a good cookie, <laughs> and it keeps tricking me. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. But every day, oh, that is terrible. Uh-uh, no. Let's start over. Come on. But every day, videos. Every day, videos. Hey, uh-uh, uh-uh. Hey, hey. <laughs> See you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Bye, y'all. It's not a game. It's a red stick.